Hi guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it would be really fun to do like a what I wish I knew before college because I'm going into my senior year of college, which is literally so crazy. I can't wrap my mind around it. But I feel like even though a good part of my college experience has been like online slash remote because of COVID, I still feel like I've picked up like a lot of valuable pieces of information that I wish I could just like go back in time and tell my younger self who was going into college. So I was like, I'm gonna make a video so that I can like share my wisdom with people who are just now going into college and hopefully this can help some of you um, just navigate the crazy world of college a little bit better and hopefully like put some of your fears to rest. Okay, so I made a little list on my phone of like the most important takeaways I guess you could say that I've taken from college and that I wish I could go back and like tell my younger self so if you see me glancing at my phone that is why I'm gonna stop rambling and get started okay so the first thing that I wish I knew before college is that the application process is way more intense than it needs to be and it's not the end-all be-all I remember being when do you even apply to college is it junior year or senior year I literally don't remember well, I remember when I was applying to colleges, I was just so stressed out. I thought like my entire future was in the hands of like the college admissions offices and myself too, like how I presented myself on my applications and everything. And it's just not the end all be all. Like college is such a, it's a pivotal time in your life, but where you go to college is not everything. It can definitely help open some doors for you, introduce you to certain people, but honestly it all comes down to you and the initiative that you have. Like wherever you end up, if you are a driven person, if you want something, just go after it and know that going to a certain school is only going to help give you certain opportunities, but you can still get those same opportunities in different ways at other schools. Does that make sense? My point is there are people who went to very different colleges who end up doing the same thing or there are people who went to quote unquote like an easier school to get into and they're higher up in their career now. So I just don't want you to get wrapped in the process of the college application process is everything. Like if I don't get into the school, if I don't write this a certain way, I'm not going to get in. Just know that what's meant to be will be as cliche as that sounds. I've really found that to be true. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, you guys know I really wanted to go to USC. It didn't get in and honestly, I can't imagine going there now like I don't see myself there I would have been in a lot of debt and I just feel like this school is a way better fit for me and I honestly feel that a lot of people find that to be true and then they can't imagine themselves going anywhere else so just don't let yourself get too wrapped into it definitely put in the effort and be proactive and all of that but just trust that it's gonna work out the way it's supposed to okay the next thing that I wish I knew is that it's okay that you don't know what you want to do with the rest of your life as a graduating high school senior I was under the impression that I had to know exactly what career path I wanted to take, like where I saw myself in 10 years. Like I thought I literally had to have my whole life planned out like down to a T because I had friends that knew exactly what they wanted to do and that's just so not true. I know when you're applying to colleges, if you have to declare a major, it can feel like you're literally like planning the rest of your life out right then and there. But just know that you can take an educated guess on what you think you might want your major to be and then if you like take some classes for that major and kind of find that it's not for you, you can always change your major. That's always an option. People change their major like pretty far into college, which I'm not like necessarily suggesting that, but I'm just saying like you have time to figure it all out. If you just have like a general idea of what you want to be doing, you can kind of slowly like move in that direction, but you don't have to have everything planned out. I applied as a business major to most schools and I am a business major now um, because I just felt like it was most aligned with what I'm currently doing, which is like YouTube and social media. Um, but I can honestly say even now as an incoming fourth year, I'm still not 100% sure what I want to do after college and that's okay. A lot of people are in that same position, even though it can seem at times that everyone else has it figured out, just know. That I don't and I know a lot of people who also don't know so it's okay take your time okay but on the other side of the coin I wish I knew that you should still be planning for post-grad during your undergrad experience so during these four years of college I was kind of under the impression that it would just come to me one day like what I want to do and it hasn't still and I feel like I should have kind of been making like possible career paths in my head because now as I'm going into my fourth year, it's like I have one year left. Like this time in a year, I need to have a full-time job that is supporting me, whether that be doing YouTube full-time or whether that be working like an actual nine to five job. But I think it's important to kind of 
be working in some direction. Like I said with the last piece of advice, it's okay if you don't know exactly what you want to do, but you should have an idea and kind of be working towards something and you can always like change it later. I kind of wish I had been better about that during college, just examining like different career paths I could take and kind of looking into them a little bit more. And obviously I still have this year to figure it out and I know there are seniors who don't know what they want to do and a lot of people end up going to grad school too. Personally for me, I don't think that's something I want to do at least right now. But my advice to incoming freshmen is just kind of be like playing around with different potential career paths because the four years goes by so fast and it's kind of helpful if you kind of are working in a certain direction because it'll just give you more time to plan for a certain career path. The next thing I wish I knew is that college is way easier and way less stressful than high school. At least in my experience, I went to a very competitive high school where people were going to like Ivy Leagues and just a lot of great schools. And it was definitely like a lot of pressure, especially around like SAT, ACT prep time. It was just a very competitive environment. So speaking from my experience, I'm not sure how it is at every high school, but just from people I've talked to like at my college we can kind of like all agree that college is way less stressful coming from someone who took a lot of AP classes in high school I just find college classes to be a lot easier now I have had classes that have been harder than high school classes but overall they have been a lot more doable there's a lot more flexibility in college you know you're not in class from like eight to three every day like you are in high school. Some days you might not even have class and then the days you do, you might have class for like two, three hours. So there's a lot more free time in college and a lot more time to do your work. You just definitely need to stay on top of it. And then within your classes, there's not as much like competition as there was in high school. I would say there's competition in the job recruiting world from people at your college, but not like in a classroom setting. So yeah, you know when your high school teachers are like, college is gonna be way harder than high school, like your college professors are not gonna to like be as lenient as your high school teachers. I have personally found that not to be true. But yeah, that's just my personal experience. But generally speaking, I feel like when I've talked to people about it, they've kind of like concurred with me on that. So don't get too stressed about that. But also please stay on top of your work and don't take this as, oh, I can like just laze around and do nothing. That's not what I'm saying. It's just not as high stress of an environment. I wish I knew that everyone's paths look different and not to compare. I think it's so easy, especially the further along you get in college and people are getting internships and you know, like early job offers. I think it's really easy to compare where you are right now to people who are the same year as you, same major, same concentration, whatever. I've definitely been guilty of this. Everyone's paths and timelines look different and just because I don't have the same internship as them or I don't have a job offer after college, it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be successful or anything like that. I think it's also important to know that like you don't know the full story. A lot of people get internships like solely through connections from family members or friends, and then that ends up resulting in a job offer. Sometimes it's literally luck of the draw. My point is everyone's paths look different and it's okay. It's okay if you're not at the same place as your peer right now. Just go at your own speed and just know that what is meant for you will not pass you. Is that the saying? I don't even know. But I firmly believe in that and I have definitely struggled with that as well a lot, especially as my college experience has gone on and people are kind of slowly like figuring out what they're gonna do. It's so easy to be like, oh, well, so-and-so has an internship, so-and-so has a job offer. I don't, I'm so behind and just know that you're not. Okay, the next thing I wish I knew is not like about academics and career paths, but more of like the social aspect of college. So I wish I knew how prevalent party culture was and how much pressure there is to partake in that. And I'm pretty sure this is like most colleges. I don't know if my school has more partying than other colleges. Obviously I can't speak for other colleges because I've only been to one. But I just found that upon entering college, there was a lot of pressure to go out and party all the time. And that's just never been something I'm into. And I'm not trying to sound like holier than thou or anything like that. It's just personally not my lifestyle. And if it is your lifestyle, that's great. You do you. But I just think it's important to let people know that that's not the only thing you can do on the weekend and not the only way you can make friends. In fact, I feel like the more like authentic friendships I've formed have been in way more like wholesome settings than going out settings. I just remember being a freshman and feeling so left out if I wasn't going out on the weekends, but it just wasn't for me and that's okay. Like there are so many other things you can do with your friends and I'm so lucky to live in a college town where there's so much to do, like so much scenery, so many cute coffee shops, like beaches and just little cute wholesome things to do and that is so much more like my vibe 
than staying out late and partying with people. So just know going in that party culture is very prevalent in college. And like I said, if you're into that, totally partake in that but if you're not like just know that there are other people who aren't really into it either and there are other things that you can do for fun on the weekend and don't feel like you have to go out just because everybody else is going out find the people who would rather stay in and watch a movie or go watch the sunset at the beach or go on a little hike i don't know i'm just saying don't feel like you have to partake in that if it's not really something you're comfortable with or you just don't enjoy it. Okay, we got a few more left, bear with me. I wish I knew how homesick I would be at the beginning and that it will eventually go away. I remember being really excited to go to college, but I was kind of surprised at how homesick I felt the first week, like once my mom left and I was kind of just on my own and I didn't know very many people. I was definitely really sad and I thought that would never go away and literally within like less than a week I had made so many new friends and I was finally getting like adjusted to dorm life and it was super fun and I was finally getting to like really explore my college town and just be on my own for the first time and it was such a cool experience and everything was just like uphill from there it was such a great year I miss freshman year so much it was definitely like the best year ever of my life literally like so much fun just so many new experiences so just know that you probably will feel homesick some people don't and if you don't that's great but you probably will for a little bit and just know that that feeling is not going to last forever you will get accustomed to new things you'll meet new friends and then you probably won't even want to go home a lot of people don't even want to go home they just love their college so much and their new friends and their new life the next thing that i wish that i knew was how special freshman year was I had such a great freshman year and I think I expected all of the years following to be just as great not to say they were bad and also like COVID played a role in all of this like I wasn't even going to campus for like a year and a half which is crazy but freshman year was just so special all of the new experiences like living in the dorms meeting new people and at my school you only live in the dorms your first year or at least that's how it was when I was a freshman so after that you live off of campus which is nice but it's definitely just not the same as being right on campus and living in such close proximity to all your friends and just being able to go to the dining hall like anytime you want like for late night froyo or something like that I don't know it was just such a cool experience and there were so many firsts and I just thought that it would kind of continue like all throughout college and it might just be because of COVID and like how that started like my sophomore year of college and continued through my junior year and now I'm a senior I don't know but for me freshman year was just such a special time and I wish I would have cherished it a little more not that i didn't i don't know there's just so many firsts so definitely like really experience those and yeah that's my advice <laughs> the next thing i wish i knew is how much my values and morals would be tested and again not to come from like a holier than thou perspective at all that's not how i'm trying it to come off you're going to meet a lot of people in college who are partaking in different things and again to each their own you do you but just know that you don't have to do what everybody else is doing to fit in definitely stay true to who you are if something feels wrong don't do it and don't be afraid to say no I think it's so easy to get caught up in like oh I want people to like me I'm gonna say yes to this but I think it's really important to stay true to who you are because you don't want to have any regrets and you don't want to look back and feel that like other people persuaded you to be a certain way and just know it's okay to say no that's something I struggled with for a long time but I finally feel like I'm at a point where I'm comfortable saying no and I can be like respectful about it but something that I've had to remind myself when it comes to like being a people pleaser is that someone's always gonna be disappointed so if you're saying yes to someone else and it's not like true to who you are then you're saying no to yourself Versus if you're staying true to yourself, you're saying no to the other person and chances are they honestly don't really care. Like they might be disappointed at first that you said no, but they're gonna forget about it and you're gonna be happy that you said yes to yourself. Oh, that's the saying. It's like saying no to others is saying yes to yourself. And I think that's so important to remember. Just know you're gonna meet tons of different people in college and everyone's gonna have come from different backgrounds and lifestyles. Don't feel like you have to fit into another person's lifestyle. You can be friends with someone and enjoy different things than them and that's totally okay. It's just so important to stay true to yourself and I think future you will thank you for that. Okay guys, we're almost done, I swear. I just wanna share these last few things with you. I wish I knew that friends will come and go over the four years I'm here, unlike high school, at least in my experience, and that's okay. Choose your friends wisely, not for a good time. So I would say 
a lot of the friends I made freshman year I am not friends with anymore and it's not like we had a big falling out or anything we kind of just went our separate ways and I still cherish like the memories I had with those people freshman year but I think it's just important to know that college is like an exploratory time it's when you're really figuring out who you are and so maybe somebody that you clicked with your freshman year you're not going to click with your junior year or your senior year you're just on different trajectories and that doesn't mean anyone messed up or there was a big falling out or anything it's okay friendships just just naturally end sometimes and it doesn't mean that you're not a good person or they're not a good person you're just different people and that's totally okay I think that's something I struggled with when I noticed friendships naturally kind of ending and it was disappointing looking back at like where we started versus where we ended up being at like now but people change and that's okay and I think it's really important to remember that different people are going to line up with you at different stages in your life so maybe your freshman year you guys were like aligned at your point in life and then you went in different directions you served your purpose they served theirs in your life and that's totally okay I wish I knew how important it is to be comfortable with yourself and in being alone I think college is portrayed as like a very social time in your life and it definitely is but what people don't talk about is how lonely it can be at times too especially you know if you're not doing like what everybody else is doing and I think that's something that I struggled with at certain times in college so yeah it really is important to be comfortable in your own skin and just with who you are and doing things alone sometimes and I'm not like advocating for you to like always be alone or not make friends but kind of going back to what I said about being comfortable saying no sometimes is that you will um, have a little bit more alone time so I think it's important to view alone time as something special and a way to kind of connect with yourself and get to know yourself more and just work on you instead of like oh I'm lonely like I don't have any friends because that's definitely not it like if you wanted to go out you totally could and I think there's a fine like balance of spending time with yourself and getting to know yourself and then also going out with friends and socializing so hopefully that makes sense I'm just saying don't view being alone or having alone time as a bad thing okay second to last one I wish I knew how fast college goes I thought high school went by really fast and I can tell you college goes by twice as fast and again I don't know if this has something to do with me having online school for like a year and a half and so the last time I was on campus was like the first half of my sophomore year but I feel like I've heard people say this before is that college goes by even faster than high school so really cherish the time you have when you're in college it feels like college is your whole world but then it comes to an end so just know that college is such a unique time in your life and when you're in it it feels like it's your whole life but really it's just a small fragment of your entire life so just really cherish it and know what a special time it is what a pivotal time it is in your life not to like scare you in any way but you're really just gonna like figure out who you are you're gonna experience so many new things and if you're going to college away from your hometown it's just such a special time to temporarily live in another city or state and to be around people that you wouldn't otherwise be around because when college ends chances are everyone's going their separate ways and you're never going to be surrounded by that same group of people again or have as much flexibility and free time as you used to so just cherish all of the moments because it goes by so quickly okay and last but not least i wish i knew that everything works out in the end i think when i was going into college or even during like the application process i was just thinking like there's so many different things that could happen while i'm in college so many different people i could meet so many different paths i could take and it's just also overwhelming and I think it's important to just trust the process I feel like that, I took that straight from like sorority recruitment trust the process but seriously trust the process in that and also trust in the process that everything is gonna work out how it's supposed to I really do believe like you'll meet the people you're supposed to you'll take the opportunities you're supposed to and that's not to say everything's gonna come to you and you don't have to work for anything but just know that if you are trying your best everything is going to work out in the end I mean I obviously don't know exactly what I'm gonna end up doing after college or where I'm gonna be but just looking back to when I was applying for colleges and getting rejected from USC seemed like the worst thing ever and that my whole life as I had planned it was now suddenly not gonna happen because this next step that I was planning on taking didn't end up happening but now in retrospect I am so glad that I didn't end up there and I can't imagine my life if I did end up there because this is my life and I feel like this is where I was supposed to be so I feel like because of that I can say with confidence that everything is gonna work out at the end of college too I feel like in college little things seem so big 
and just know that they're not and things will work out. And I really should take my own advice because sometimes I struggle with this too. But yeah, those are the things that I wished I knew before college. I know this video was a little lengthy, but I really just wanted to make sure I covered all of that because I feel like those would have been so useful for me to know before college. So hopefully it helps some of you guys too. Also, please let me know like what back to school videos you guys want to see from me going back to college post COVID. It's going to be so interesting, so exciting, but I actually don't start classes for like another month i'm on the quarter system so i'm super late so let me know like what kinds of back to school videos you guys would want to see until i'm back in person and can actually film like vlogs and stuff like that thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i will see you in my next video bye